Now that you have some basic understanding of the words that we use in word selection, we can jump straight into the interface. We'll start with the main menu which you can currently see on your screen. In the top left corner, you can see tech points. You can gain those by playing public multiplayer matches. If you click on the tech points or the game store, you will see all the countries that you can buy for tech points or real money. And you will also see some other features which are available only for real money. If you click on a country, you will have three options. You can buy the country for tech points and for real money for yourself and for real money as a gift. However, I would be careful because once you buy a country, you can't refund it. Also, when buying an item from the game store as a gift, be very careful about what the steam rules are. If you don't make sure that your friend from a different region can use the code that you give him, it just might happen so that he will have to pay again. Next thing is your rating. If you click on it, you can see the leaderboard. You can climb this ladder by playing ranked games. The more points you have, the better you are. Next is the game mode. You might not like all of them, but you should still try them. Next up, play with a squad or a private match. You can either create a lobby and send the code to your friends or you can join a lobby by using a code. Replay is quite important. Here you can either watch your single player replay or you can watch a multiplayer replay with a code that you get after the game. This is especially useful when learning because you can look back and see what you did wrong. Settings. Before you try a multiplayer game, try to see what fits your liking. Next up you have the official war selection discord and a random YouTube video. Now that you know the boring stuff, we can get into the game. In the top right corner, you can see the resources. There are three main resources. Food, then stone and wood which count as one, then iron which is gained by mining copper and metal. To the left side, we can see population. The first number is the current population and the second is the maximum population. In the top middle of the screen, you can see your current age. If you were currently aging up, you would also see the bar beneath slowly filling up. In the top left we have your current country size, along with your current military with their quantity grouped into four categories. First, army, second, navy, third, air units, fourth, scouts. Now that we move over to the bottom right corner, here you can see all the buildings that you can place and if you hover over the icon, you can see what is required to build them. To the left you can see the currently selected units and the special actions that they can perform. If you click on a building that can train units, it will also be displayed here. As a matter of fact, not just training units, but also if there is a building that has some special upgrades, it will also be displayed here. Other than that, if you click onto a certain source of material, you will see how much there is to mine. And lastly, if you click on a certain building, be it your enemies or your own, you will see how much health it has. However, this is quite inefficient. That's why you will go back to the top right corner, click on the icon that you see, which stands for settings, where you can change the visibility of health bars, and you can customize the game to your liking by changing the other settings as well. After this minor change, you will see the health bar of buildings and units without having to click them every time you want to know how low their health is. Finally on the bottom left we see 4 dots which allow you to change your formation. A little bit higher we see we are on the attack, on which if you click it will redirect you to the place where you are on the attack. Below that we can see idle workers in green, on which if you click you get redirected to them again. And beneath that there is a small warning which lets us know that our population limit has been reached. Beneath this warning we can see a few minimap controls. First shows the territory that is under your control or enemy's control. Second changes the player colors to the team colors which is mainly useful in team matches. Third one shows you gather all the material on the map. And the last one enhances the minimap. Now that you finished your game, you can use the replay code I mentioned before.